incident, I'm sure you must have heard about it, involving the parked car and the professor. I'm not much of a professional driver, but don't laugh at me. Do you have any idea of what might probably have gone wrong? Probably over speeding or lack of? No, 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 no. The, the car was parked, you know, on the driveway. Of course. And then it's rolled back. Back, ah, yeah, actually, mm. that's true. That's true. Mm. That's actually a great loss to uh, the nation and the family of the deceased. Thank you so much, Claire. Yeah. President Bola Tinubu has been re-elected chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government for the second consecutive tenure. It was uh, the 65th session of the community held in Abuja. State House correspondent Muspao Danwahab reports that at the session, Nigeria uh, committed to winning the fight against terrorism in the ECOWAS sub-region with its counter-terrorism center located in Abuja. ECOWAS is just a few months away from its golden jubilee. The block has recorded many high moments in its integration and cooperation pursuits, but equally dotted by some lows in the past 49 years. And the present situation is even more challenging as it is existential. This session was appraising the enormity of the challenges facing the sub-region, including terrorist activities and violent extremism vis-a-vis -vis the effort at combating them. Our region is still confronted with multiple interlocking threats, including existential ones. These include climatic and man-made crises, leading to terrorism and violent extremism and food insecurity. Governance deficit and marginalization have strained social contracts, engendering bitter rivalries and unhealthy competition. Certainly, the community recognizes the importance of peaceful and secure environments in its integration and economic drives. And again, Nigeria is taking a lead to give new momentum to the fight against forms of insecurity in the sub-region. I urge ECOWAS to leverage on the capability of the Nigerian National Counter-Terrorism Center, NCTC, which is widely acknowledged as one of the best on the continent. The Nigerian government has decided to declare the NCTC as a regional center to enable all ECOWAS member states benefit from capacity building and the other related opportunities it offers. On its socio-economic challenges, President Sinubu implores member states to double down and liberate their people from poverty. We must invest in our infrastructure and cultivate a conducive business environment to empower our communities to stimulate growth and build resilience against external shocks. Together, we can pave the way for a prosperous future for all ECOWAS. So, bridge. The unconstitutional takeover of governments and the subsequent decision of the three Sahel countries to opt out of ECOWAS still remains a concern for the community. And now, the authority is adding President Diomaye Faye of Senegal to join force in reconvincing the departing members to reconsider their decision. I will request Mr. Faye to please become our special envoy along to go to do a round clock walk with uh, our brothers in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. In a seeming pass mark to the chairmanship tenure of President Sinubu due to end by July 9, the authority has re-elected the Nigerian leader to lead the bloc for another one year. From the State House, Muspao, Danwahab, NT News.